G'day team, welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to go through something that makes my eye twitch when I would be helping someone and um, I see them not use this. It's a, kind of a staple for my workflow, but a lot of people don't know about it to be honest. So everyone has to insert symbols into their text somewhere in Revit. Like it might be like a meters squared or like the degree symbol or the little trademark symbol. And generally, if you're inserting these, you'd like you click and then in the text box, you right click and you go down to symbols and you know, use whatever there or go to other. Now, did you know that you can actually use uh, an input method called alt codes to put these in? So alt codes have been around forever and they are kind of like an inbuilt part of a Windows PC. And they're not, this is not something that's specific to Revit at all, but it is quite useful. So you can type whatever you want in here in the text box. Normally, if you're putting a symbol in, you can go symbols and then choose any of these or you go other and choose any of, uh, you know, pretty much anything, but you don't have to do all of that. If you learn a few common ones, like for example, O, if hold, sorry. For example, if I hold down Alt and then go 0153, Alt 0153, it's the trademark symbol. Don't have to do that too often, but 0176 is a degree symbol. 0178 is like the meters squared symbol. 0216 is the centerline symbol. So, you know, you'd be you'd be right in saying, why would you do that when you can just go into here? But like, for example, you can't insert symbols like that. Like this right click thing, it only shows up in here, right? So if for whatever reason you're wanting to put it, just for example, like this is just lunacy, but like say you're wanting to change the room tag here, that it's not, it's not there. So you'd need to, you'd need to do it that method or you'd you know, copy and paste and add it like that. So it's just, um, it's something to something good to know about. There's only really like five that I would use on like a day-to-day -day basis, you know, four or five maybe. Um, I'll include those in the description of the video, but yeah, just something that is handy to know, I guess. That's what I try and provide in, in terms of content. So hopefully this helps. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. Cheers. Bye.